Now we've installed the gas loop transmitter outside at the meter, we can come back inside and we click next to take us to the next stage. Um, we've already um, shown how we install the stand for the gas loop transmitter outside and squeezing the gas loop transmitter to initiate the uh, unit so that it's up and running. So the next stage is to calibrate the gas uh, loop to your uh, actual meter and to do that we need to turn on uh, the heating system so that we have gas consumption in the home so that the meter register turns for the gas loop to calibrate to. Okay, so in order to calibrate your gas loop, we need to turn on the gas central heating. You come to the controller and move the heating from off to continuous. This puts the heating on. We're now going to be consuming gas and therefore the meter will be turning and we can calibrate. If you don't have gas central heating, then you can use other devices around the home, such as the gas cooker, um, to switch that on to calibrate the uh, loop unit too, although the best thing, of course, is your heating system. To ensure your heating is actually on, don't forget to just turn your thermostat up to a temperature that will actually get your radiators warm in the house. Loop takes up to half an hour to calibrate, but normally does it much faster, and will send you a message when the system is calibrated to your loop account. This completes the process, and after loop is calibrated, you can switch the heating back off, and that completes the full installation of your gas loop. OK, so having turned the heating on, we can now click Next. And we'll wait for the connection success, and the system confirms success. You're now in the loop, and uh, your gas loop is up and running takes us straight into the page and of course it's awaiting data but your system is now updated to show you both electricity and gas consumption in real time.